You see that over there? That is Site 5. And all we need to do is take on a couple more stages. And then the boss. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Splatoon 3's single player. I'm Mr. Viper Fang, and last time, we delved even more into Site 4, and we unlocked a hell of a lot of stuff. And all that we have left now are two stages in the boss kettle. So how about we go on ahead and just knock them out and then move on? I'm using a bemused muse. Alright. Oh. Zipcaster and a weapon. Aim carefully and copy the template. Oh, good. I'd rather use the squeezer for this one. Because if you remember the Octo expansion, we had to uh, take out certain uh, crates to replicate a template. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. All right. So study this thing carefully and then just uh, throw all caution to the wind. And the game will tell you if you've missed a box, because that happened to me. In fact, I'm going to just go on ahead and show you what happens if you accidentally destroy the wrong box. It just stops you right there, which is really unfortunate if you get down to the final boxes and then you accidentally destroy one when you're trying to aim for the last safe box. The key with the squeezer is to just not uh, hold it down. All right, this top layer, for the most part, I can get rid of. Oh, good. I am definitely not using my zip caster to move over there. That would be suicide. Unless you really know this game inside and out, I would recommend not using the Zipcaster to move, to get on top of here to break crates easier. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna go on ahead and just uh, fast forward through all this. Ooh, God. And I'll meet you guys at the end of the sculpting process. Is that a dolphin I'm making? I just realized. I think it's still, it's a dolphin. All right, fast forwarding now. Oh my god, I did it. First try. So yeah, uh, in my personal file, I accidentally destroyed the wrong one um, at toward the very end. And I had to start all the way from the beginning. That sucked. Let me get these eggs. All right. And now I can now I can finally get out of here. All right. So yeah, if you want to look at your handiwork, you can just uh come over here. And then there's also this one. So yeah, uh, that's how you do a sculpture with boxes. And oh, I didn't get it an instant one. I probably should have aimed higher. But yeah, uh. Whew. You have no idea how stressed out I was while I was trying to sculpt that. Because honestly, if you do this one, you might be as stressed out as I was because you're trying to be so careful not to destroy the wrong box and uh, get launched back to the very beginning. Oh, that's not a... Okay. I thought it was a thing that I could hit to create an incline. Uh, let's take care of this one and then I will do the boss. 
But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep it going. And my little guy isn't finding anything. The path to perfect penmanship. So, how do you like, uh, riding on the floor? So, it recommends the Octobrush, but the Inkbrush might be a bit faster. Use the splat switches to reach the goal within the time limit. Uh, Octobrush is definitely slower, but it's wider, so you have a little more margin for error. So, if you feel like you can do this in one try with the ink brush, go for it. I'm just gonna go for the Octobrush, just for safety. You should have plenty of time, uh, no matter which one you choose. Alright. Gonna go on ahead and do that just for safety. Oh, there is one right here. Okay. And final checkpoint. So, look at all that that we have to hit. So yeah, I see one, two. Whew, that's a lot of splat switches. Just ink them in order, I guess. And there's plenty of ink refills there just for you so you don't have to stop and submerge. All right, as soon as you get past this little point right here, timer starts. And you'll see what we are uh, drawing on the floor. Seven seconds left. So yeah, if you're wondering what we were uh, drawing on the floor, it's our little buddy. Kinda looks a little weird, but yeah. That's what we were doing. And I think with the ink brush, you have like 10, 11 seconds after uh, you're all done. So yeah, definitely faster, but more precise. Also, with the slower speed of the Octobrush, you are able to uh, close, you're able to pay a little more attention to what's coming up and you're not as likely to make as many mistakes. All right, before I head in there, I have a beef with this balloon. I'ma burst it. There we are. I feel better. Let's go. In the pursuit of the precious. What is this, Lord of the Rings? All right, so we got a hint at what's to come thanks to one of the sunken scrolls. So let's go on ahead and face another of the deep cut members. Stop where you are. We're facing Shiver. After the treasure, you have excellent taste. But you're too delicate to claim this particular item. Don't you agree? Ah, I see. The cold shoulder routine. Guess you're pretty wicked after all. We'll have to teach you some manners. Join me, Master Mega. I'm a shark. I'm a shark. All right, so we got to take this thing out, and also, fun fact, you can actually attack the shark when it's, ow, in the water. Uh, let's hang back until we get our armor back. Baby shark, do 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 baby shark, do 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 baby shark, do 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 baby shark. Oh my god, do 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 do. All right, for a second I thought I killed my small fry. I think that was the hint that I was supposed to throw a bomb in there, but I don't have the splat bombs active, uh, unlocked. So I guess, uh, if you want to have an easier time with this, just, uh, throw the, just unlock splat bombs before going into this fight. All right. Oh, God. All right. Oh, now it's creating a, uh, oh, oh my god, it's a Sharknado. All right, where are you coming from? I saved my bacon. All right. Let's hit you a little bit more. I don't think it recovers, uh, 
I don't think it recovers when it's in the wa in the ink, so you don't have to worry about uh, continuously firing at it. There we are. And that's phase two. Let's see what phase three has to offer. Oh, come on. What is with you? I just noticed the sunglasses. Oh my god. Master Mega is really a boss. All right. Let's get our special back. All right. It's just going to keep on firing Splatana projectiles. That's okay. All right. It's over there. Now it's over there. Fire another beam. Definitely easy to dance uh, past those. All right. It's going back here. Let's see what it does next. Because I think it'll charge at us. Or is it going to fire more beams? Nope. Fires more beams. There we are. All right. Come at me. I want to use a splashdown to stun you. All right. Oh, I missed. But I saved myself. All right. I'll just do that. And I'll kill you the old-fashioned way. All done. Ow. I think that's enough of a lesson for today. But you haven't seen the last of Deep Cut. Until next time, huh? Oh, no! Okay, bye. But we did it. We have, uh... We have uh, repelled deep cut once again, and now we have blades. Are we gonna be giving this stuff a haircut or something? Hey, I got three more uh, sardinium. Good work, Agent Three. I mean, we didn't find Gramps, but we found another treasure. That's something. Did Cuttlefish just swear and? Radio static. Do you read me? Come in. Gramps is on the line. Hello, Gramps. Oh, Agent One. Good to hear your voice. I'm uh, still locked in some kind of room. Finding the exits. Looking for looking for a ne needlefish in a coral reef. Oh, I mean. Oh, I better shout whisper. Someone's coming. Ah, uh, ah, you've awakened from your hibernation, have you, cuttlefish? Hmm. Hmm. That's, uh, former Captain Cuttlefish to whoever you are. Who are you anyhow? Identify yourself. <laughs> You're lively for an old bag of... Does your species have bones? No matter. You can call me... Mr. Grizz. So all of those salmon runs in Splatoon 2... And this is why my Salmon Run videos are going to be coming out after this Let's Play is over. No any grits, Mr. or otherwise. No, it was getting so good. Gramps, are you still there? Uh, I think we lost him, but we'll find but we, we'll find him for real if we keep tracking the signal. That's all you, Agent 3. Let's go. So, yes, Mr. Grizz is involved with the single player of Splatoon 3. Let's go on ahead and unlock some stuff. Oh, I can get this. And I can get that. So, I either go after this stuff, or I, uh... Well, it's easy if I get Splat Bombs just by unlocking that. I can also get a little thing right there. All right. Reduces small fry's respawn time because he needs all the comfort he can get with what with how we're treating him. But yeah, uh 
This is why my Salmon Run videos are going to be debuting after this Let's Play. Because spoilers. You'll see what I mean when we beat the game. Alright, I'm just gonna get the uh, I'm just gonna get the sensor unlocked and I'm gonna get uh splat bombs and improve them. And I'll save the rest of the sardinium and levels for this. And we still do not have our full suit back yet. We still have the ripped shirt. Alright, I'm gonna head over to area four and then we'll make our way over to area five. Site five. All right, closest there. Let's jump. So yeah, what kind of capacity is Mr. Grizz involved in this? You will see. Can we do something the past time? Let's play 20 questions. I'll go. Is it blue? Is it huge? Is it a whale? Welcome to Area 5. You've made it pretty far, huh? Looks like you can get to another site from there. That pipe must be the way back. That is the pipe all the way to Area 3. Hmm, still no response from Gramps. Figures. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can find here. Good luck! Alright. So right off the bat, we have this thing, which is just eggs. Oh, nice little path over here. Which leads... Ah, sunken scroll. Oh, it's a late one. Thursday night, Friday morning at 1 a.m. It's the 100th episode of Marie After Midnight. And a special guest stopped by to help me celebrate. My cousin Callie. It's the Squid's Fester. It's the Squid Sisters Gap Fest. We could not stop talking. Not kidding. We went over the scheduled end time by five hours. Oops. They care about one another very much. All right, let's unlock this so we can jump back easily. Get that. And I think that gets me to the other side. Yes, it does. And it gets me this. Hey, another a gold record. And just more eggs. All right. Oh, I can't ink that. I can ink the other containers. All right, another stage. Oh, a big thing. There we go. A whopping 3,000 to get over here. All right, another one. I'm gonna just unlock as much as I can of the area, and then I'll do a stage or two. Uh, come on. There we are. I missed. Nice. Nice little lob shot. Alright, let's get this one as well. More eggs! And, uh, oh, a sunken scroll. Oh, we're going in reverse order. Letter of appointment. Employment, new Squid Beak HQ, first platoon. Adjustments, promoted to captain which em, which emoluments, with emoluments of pay grade 33, Craig Cuttlefish. Hey, this is Agent 3 getting, from the first game, getting promoted to captain. As, uh, Cuttlefish retires. He then went on to become advisor. Fully retired from being captain, but not entirely out of the action. All right, let's throw that up there. Got another kettle. Ooh. All right, I don't think there's anything on that path. A lot of stuff I'm throwing down at. All right. Another one of those. All right, anything down here? Well, he's found something up there. Let me see. What'd you find, little buddy? Ooh, sardinium. Cool. Uh, another thing right here? Nope. But I can reach this. And I have no choice but to reach it. Ooh, that was close. I got another decoration, which is just a piece of concrete. All right. Well, it looks like I can reach a hell of a lot more over here. Uh, let's see. All 
All right, looks like I have to shoot at it to unlock it. All right, that's fair. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Oh, are we? Uh, oh no, this is the way to site three. Uh, oh, and there's a thing over here. Well, I'm glad I came over here. Oh, it was just that. Ah. All right. Just more regular power eggs. I see how it is. All right. I've got enough for probably one more thing, and then I'm gonna have no choice but to do a stage. Oh, another thing. What'd you find, little buddy? Uh, hidden? It's hidden, and it's just 25 eggs. But I found something more significant. Uh, food ticket. Honestly, I think I was better off. I think I was more satisfied with the eggs. Uh, oh, I can actually get this thing. Ooh, yes. Ah, decoration. All right, got some more eggs. Let me go up there and get the decoration. And another kettle. Ta-da! That was a nice looking lamp. Uh, traditional lamp made out of paper. All right, uh, let's see. I don't have much left, so I think I'm gonna warp all the way back here. And just take care of a couple stages and then end things off. All right, only one thing and it's the uh, sploosh matic with an angle shooter? Oh. I see. All right. So, the angle shooter is a very interesting sub-weapon. It doesn't necessarily do damage to enemies in multiplayer. Well, it does a little bit of damage, but never enough to kill anyone outright. It's mainly meant for tagging opponents and for your teammates. And it bounces off of a lot of surfaces. And this stage basically shows you how it works. Yeah, as you can see, the box did get painted a little bit. All right, so it's gonna take two of these to take out one of the, okay. Let's see, one, two, three. That's a miss. Oh, it's going a little faster. That's why we kept on getting messed up. There we go. Got it. There we are. And the reason it gave us the sploosh matic is so that we actually are forced to use this if we want to get things at range. So let's see, we have this thing. Ooh, I missed. Nice. Then we have to do it to this one. Ah, that, that was a miss. That was a big miss. Nope. Still no. A little bit closer, maybe? There we are. Nope. That uh, definitely not. Yeah, as you can see, you'll probably need a lot of practice with this thing. That was way too late. There we are. Oh good, we get armor. Oh wow, still not done. Oh, I hit it. There we are. 
I'll just get behind you. If I can get behind you. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do this. There we are. Yeah, I totally did it with those markers. All right, here's the difficult one. Got to basically activate a Rube Goldberg machine. There we are. There we are. That activates that, which should allow us to... I think I messed it up. Oh, I was supposed... Okay. Oh, that's cruel. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta start over. Yeah, a little bit complicated, and if you mess up at any point, you're most likely gonna have to reset back to this. There we are. There we are. Oh, I'm supposed to get up here. That's why I did it. All right. All right, there we are. Don't worry. It took me a little while to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do there. I think I was there for like twice as long as I was in this on this file. All right. So now, oh God, you have to perfectly time our throws to be able to hit things like that. That's a miss. There we are. Another one's gonna show up here. Nice. Oh, we got one more, eh? Oh God! Well, I did it at least. Oh, bye. Nice little way to end it off. But yeah, uh, learn to reflect, and this one is in the bank. But yeah, that's the ins and outs of a very weird sub weapon. I have not found a weapon in multiplayer that has it yet, and there definitely are, I just have not unlocked them yet. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and end it here, after seeing what he found. Ah, uh, more eggs, okay. Next time we'll go on ahead and continue to explore Site 5 and see what this area has to offer in terms of lore and other stuff. Hey, thank you for the power, power eggs, Callie. I appreciate it. So yeah, uh, next time we're exploring more of Side 5. Take it easy. I'll see you later.